Okay, so this is uh, one of the questions that I gave you. It's all about circle theorem. So this question here, for question uh, A, where they're saying explain why AD is the diameter. Okay, so AD is the diameter because, okay, so you say because It uh, cuts uh, the circle. It cuts the circle into two equal parts. Okay? So it cuts the circle into two equal parts. That's the reason. And remember... This is uh, an exam, so you have to make sure that you, you write your answer right here because it uh, cuts the circle into two equal parts. So these parts are called what? Eh? semicircles so now for number two 17 question two or I mean question b one they want us to find angle a c f so what is angle a c f so let's check the diagram a c is right here and f is here so what do you do in this case we use the property of uh, angles coming from uh, the same segment so you see this segment this segment right here this angle is coming from uh, this segment as well as uh, the one we want to find they're coming they're all coming from uh, the same segment Touching the circumference at A and F. So meaning the angle which is here is the same as the angle which will be right here. Okay. So this is 20 degrees. There is no need of calculations. It's just 20 degrees straightforward. Our solution must be put here 20 degrees. That's two marks so far because we've got one and two. Lastly, we are asked to find angle D. Where is D? It's right here. D, E, F. So here we are going to use the property of opposite angles. Okay? We know that this is a, a cyclic quadrilateral, this one, like this, D, E, F, B, okay, this one. So meaning this angle is opposite to this angle, and this angle right here is opposite to this angle here. So the property says opposite angles add up to 180. So this angle plus this angle is equal to 180. So we will say 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. And this will give us what? 110 degrees. Meaning our answer here is 110 degrees.